Hey everybody, it's April 3rd, so I wanted to go ahead and do my March empties video. These are all the beauty products I used up in the month of March, so let's get started. Okay. First thing I see here, this is actually, it's two pieces, but I just saved this to show you. So this is um, a soap called Tasha's Own Handmade Goat's Milk Soap. This is the Almond Grove scent. It is from a small company in Virginia Beach, and it smelled so good. It was just like almond, and they wrap each bar with the label, but then they also have the fabric under the label around it, and it's just, it's so pretty. So each soap has a different fabric. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, so I really enjoyed this. My boyfriend actually got it for me, I think in my stocking this past Christmas, and um, he knows I love almond scented things. And it was like a very mild, sweet almond scent and very moisturizing. So it was perfect to use um, this winter, basically. So really like that. And I would definitely get it again, but I don't know when I'll next be down um, in the area where he got it. I think he picked it up at a Williamsburg farmer's market. So, okay. This is the Eucalyptus Mint Deep Cleansing Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. I really like this scent. It's described as a refreshing scent, a fresh mint, crisp eucalyptus, and sweet clary sage. Um, it's really good. I like it in the hand soap form, um, and I would definitely get it again. So I use that up. This is not an empty. This is a product that it just isn't working for me. I think, I don't know if it got old, but it got really sticky. It just almost has like a slightly tacky feeling after I put it on and since I tend to use it at night I just I hate going to bed with that feeling um, I probably wouldn't like using it during the day either so it's not empty I did try to use it a bunch but oh this is stuck to it um, but it's oh wow it looks so full but I think the bottle or the container got turned sideways anyway I'm gonna see if my mom wants to use the rest of it um, I really like Origins as a company, but their products have been really hit or miss for me. So this one I wouldn't get again. Okay, next I have some Basha Blotting Linens. This is the lavender scent. Um, I don't remember these being particularly well, particularly lavender scented. Um, they're lavender in color, but they didn't have much of a scent to them. However, I do really like the Basha Blotting Linens, and I would get them again. I try to get them when they're on sale, though, because they are a little pricey. I think they're $10 a pack, usually, so it's a little expensive compared to some of them. Um, but I would get those again. Okay, this is another non-empty. This I got in a subscription box. It's the Marcel Makeup Remover, and I tried to use it. It's one of those bi-layer or dual-layer makeup removers where you shake it up. Um, it's just too oily. I felt like it left an oily residue and I just didn't like it. I used it once. Um, but I will see if my mom wants it because her skin tends to be a little more dry and I think she, this might not bother her, so I'll see if she wants it. Okay, next I went through another simple micellar water. These are the best. Um, I like them. They're like the best micellar water that I've used so far, but I only have this and the Sephora one to compare it to. I would like to try the Garnier one. Um, so I will continue to get this probably. I, I have one now that I'm using and I'll probably keep buying it. Oh, it looks like there's a little at the bottom. I thought I got it all out. Um, I get it at Target. I usually, they keep printing out coupons at checkout for me for these and I keep forgetting to use them. It's like a dollar off coupon. Um, but even without the coupon, I think it's only like $7. It's a pretty good deal. So, but I do go through them pretty quickly because I use it to take off all my makeup now, including my eye and face makeup. Okay, next. Um, this is also not an empty. This is the Rockateur blush or face powder, I guess blush, from Benefit. It just isn't really a flattering, sorry, my nails are a little messed up. I just did them. I have to like clean them up. Um, it's not the most flattering color on me. It's like a little too brown or orange or something. It just, it's not really like a flattering. I do a lot better with like a bright pink blush. So I'm going to see if my mom wants this as well because her skin is slightly different tone than mine. I feel like I'm giving her everything this time. Um, and here's another one of these. These are both, this came in, um, this come in, I think this came in like an advent calendar for benefit. This came in a gift set. I really wanted to like this because I used to really love, I still have a little bit left, but it's the Benefit Box Powder in Georgia or Georgia Peach 
I'm not sure the exact name, but it's a really light peachy color and it's perfect for me. This, however, is quite sparkly and it's just, it's just too orange. Um, so it just doesn't work out. I tried using it a bunch of times. I'm just gonna, again, again, see if my mom wants it. If not, I guess we'll throw it away. Um, this is a hand soap or body soap. I use this in the shower and it is also by this Greenwich Bay Trading Company, which I've shown these before in empties because I really like them. I used to get them whenever we went on vacation to the Outer Banks. Um, so that's when I got this several months ago. And it's the Winterfield scent. It was so nice. I love the little drawing on the on the um, wrapper also. I think it's really cute, but I don't remember exactly what it smells like and the, the wrapper doesn't really smell like anything, but it was just a really nice wintry scent. I kind of think maybe kind of like pine and spice and cranberry, sort of that thing, but really good. I would definitely get it again, but I don't know when I'll be back in North Carolina next. Um, this is an old lipstick from Estee Lauder called Delicate. And I'm trying to remember, I feel like this color's fine. What's the issue? Maybe it was the color, or maybe I just felt like it was too dry. Something about this just didn't, wasn't working for me anymore, so I'm getting rid of it. And I think my mom actually gave it to me, so I'm not gonna be giving it back to her. This is another empty. This is the Sephora Blotting Linens in Lavender also. They didn't smell like lavender either, really, but they're a little bit less expensive than the Basha ones. However, I have bought, so I don't think I would buy these again, but I just started using the rose-scented ones from Sephora, and they are so, so nice. So. I'm definitely still interested in the Sephora blotting papers, but probably not the lavender ones. Okay, this is definitely not an empty. I tried to like this over and over again. I bought this on a recommendation from a YouTuber. It's the NYX lip uh, stick in strawberry milk, and it's just too crazy pink. Like, it just, it's not flattering. I look like a wannabe Barbie doll. It's just not cute. Um, and it's also very like chalky and like kind of like leaves pieces behind. And even if you exfoliate your lips and try to make them extremely smooth, it's still just, it's not a very good formula. So that's going in the trash. I don't even want to give that to my mom. She definitely would not use it. Got a couple more things. I'm just going to pull them all out. It's a big bag this time and not a lot of items or a lot, but they're all small. Okay. Caribbean Escape hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This was really nice. I I'm kind of surprised myself at how much I liked it. Um, it has a coconut on here, but I don't, I don't really feel like it smelled like coconut. It was just very fruity and, and nice and refreshing. So I enjoyed using this. This is the old bottle. I would get the new scent again though, because um, I, I think they have this one year round. And I'm now using the last of this kind of bottle and then I get to go back to the new one, so that's nice. Um, Okay, and two more things, also not empty. So this is Love of Color eyeshadow stick. This came in a subs um, subscription box. And it's just not a, it's not a good, here, I'll put it on. It's, it's actually really pretty, it just doesn't look good on me. It looks freakishly like garish, like bronze, intense. It, yeah, it wasn't a good look for me. So, not keeping this. I did try to use it a couple times. I also tried to use this. This is an Urban Decay lipstick in Streak. I love the packaging, it's it's really hefty. And this was also, no, it wasn't in a subscription box, it was in a lipstick set that I bought from Sephora. Um, it This is just really, it's not coming off that crazy on camera, but in person it's just so, it's not very wearable, it just looks fake. Um, kind of almost like a neon coral on me. That's what it looks like on me anyway. Um, so yeah, so getting rid of this also. So I know this seems like a lot, of, well, there's like, it's like half empties and half like I'm purging my stuff. I'm planning on moving sometime this year again. So I'm really trying to go through my collection and like weed out things that I'm just not using or that aren't working for me. So that's my empties this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also leave a comment of any empties that you use that you would recommend. And also, if you have any video suggestions for future videos, I would love to see them also in the comments below. See you next time.